Good morning, everyone. My name is Alyssa Cooper, and this is Cooking in Quarantine. So today, I'm going to prepare my friend Meredith's perfect spicy chicken sandwich. She says it makes her boyfriend unbelievably happy. So um, I thought, what could be better than a highly pleasing luncheon here today? So yesterday I got a couple of boneless chicken breasts and I have had them soaking overnight. Can you see, can you see, can you see? In a combination of buttermilk. Um, I use Trappy's Red Devil, even though Mare says Crystal, I don't have Crystal, so I used my Trappy's and extra cayenne. So that's what this has been marinating in for all this time since about, I don't know, about three o'clock yesterday afternoon. Um, this is definitely a marinade overnight dish. So let's pull these babies out of here. Oh, look at that. I'm actually, I probably should have moved them around a little more. So let me just move them around a little bit. And I'm gonna take this out. Here we go. And take this out. Perfect. And then I'll just move this away. So this is one of those things we want to bread. So breading is a three-step thing. Um, Mare says panko for extra, extra crunchiness. So I've got a little regular flour, a little egg. And so I'm going to just take, I think, two eggs just to not have to have too much. Or to not have too little is what I mean to say. And here we go. One, two. And give that a little mix. I'm very happy. I did a little moving around of things in the drawer yesterday. So now I can get things a little more easily. I'm going to get this. Just a little stir up. So here we go. Perfect. Flour, and I'm going to put it through my little sieve just so that it doesn't um, clump up in any way. And then one of my favorite tools and toys, so why not use one of your favorite tools when you can? So here we go. Just give that a little. Da -da 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 -da. I like playing with my toys very much, very much. So I hope everyone out there is doing well. I know it's a crazy day in the world and lots of insane things that maybe even five years ago we couldn't have fathomed going on are indeed going down in the world around us. So now I have all of my stuff for breading ready to go here. So I'm going to turn around over here and I'm going to start my oil. I have just a little bit of oil in the pan. I don't want to deep fry this. I just want to brown up on the outside and I don't want it to get too hot. So I'm going to keep this heat really low and I'm going to let it come up really slowly. Oh, oops. That was, sorry for the noise, everybody. And I'm going to take my handy dandy paper towel and blot off these beautiful chicken breasts just so that there's not so much of the uh, buttermilk mixture here on it. Just dry and blot them a little bit so that when we go to the dredge it's better. Hmm, I probably could use a clean pan. I just always need, even as hard as I try, I sometimes just need another clean pan. Here's a perfect little thing for me right here. Pardon me. And pardon me. So here we go. And yes. All right. So I'm just going to take this. And this is starting to warm up. So first flour. All right. First flour. First flour. Get it nice and done nice and covered, all right? And then egg, round, round, and then panko. There we go. That 
that's beautiful. I might need some more panko. I certainly need a clean hand. Here we go. Clean hand, clean hand. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then I'm going to take this one and put it over here. Make sure I've got it nice and panko y. Yes, I do. I'm going to lay that there and have that ready to go. And then I'm going to do the other piece. So let's go flower, 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 and egg, egg, and egg. Now, I think I can make do with this panko. Let's see what I can do. Clean my hand. Uh, almost. It's like I'm making dough on my hands. It's very sticky. But I think it's going to be totally worthwhile. So let me get this other finger clean. Sorry. Ta -da. Here we go. And that oil is starting to smell like it's warm. So that's excellent. And I'm going to give this a roll. Just make sure I get all the good panko crummies on here. And then I'm going to move this over here so that they're ready to go. I'm going to take the last of my little pankoies, get those little crunchy deliciousness bits right here. Perfect. Um, I'm going to give this just a crank of salt before it goes in. And then I'm going to give this just a little test. Yep, that oil is nice and hot. And I'm just going to slide both of these gingerly into the oil. Beautiful. Here we go. Now, the other thing, hello Barbara, how are you? The other thing that we need for this, so Meredith says serve on a potato roll. And um, this is one of those except no substitutes things that a Martin's potato roll. Now, I don't know if this is a universal thing or because it's been a long time since I lived in Kentucky, but if you can get Martin's, these are fantastic. A little bit of fresh greens are gonna go on the sandwich and a little um, spicy mayonnaise is called for as well. So I'm gonna just sort of move all of this stuff a little bit out of sight and let's see what we can do. I have, these are cooking up nicely. I think I want this to be just a wee bit warmer. I don't want it to cook too fast because you've got to cook the chicken all the way through as well as browning up your, um, your panko when you're crusting. So you don't want it to go too fast so that you end up with an undercooked breast. So let's make a little spicy mayonnaise. Since I used, if I were making spicy mayonnaise on my own, just to make some spicy mayonnaise, I would probably use sriracha because that's just my thing. Um, one of my favorites. It's great because it's sweet enough that you don't have to add any additional sugar. Um, but here, since we used, since I used the trappies for the marinade, I'm going to use trappies here as well. So just a few little drops because like we said, we've had this overnight in a spicy dish. A little bit of cayenne, right? One, two. And the great thing about making things that are spicy is if you make them too hot for yourself, all you have to do is add a tiny bit of um, honey, or if you're uh, looking to be vegan, you could always, you know, there's vegan mayonnaise all over the world nowadays, so if you were doing that, the vegan version of a spicy mayonnaise, all you need is a little more cayenne. Um, a little honey to, or a little, as I'm sorry, I'm trying to go vegan, which would mean make a syrup to make your vegan A's spicy A's, right? So here's this. So I've got a little bit of spicy mayonnaise going right here. Beautiful. Let's see this. That's a lot of cayenne to get in one person's mouthful. So give that a good spread. Mm. That's nice. 
I'm going to put, oh, that is nice. There's a nice deep burn in the back of my throat, which is exactly how I like my spicing. And this is looking, coming nicely. It hasn't started to brown around the edges, so I'm going to assume that it's okay. I haven't done a lot of frying in my life, but here we go. So this is, I think, ready to roll. This is all good. We can maybe even do a dish or two while we're waiting here. But this looks like it's under perfect control. And we can see who's here. Hello, Erin, and hello, Denise. I love that I get here every day and I find people from all stages of my life. It makes me feel super connected, which of course is the only reason that I've been doing this, is to be connected and to try to model some good pandemic behavior here. So for those of you out there who are not wearing your masks, you're not welcome in the house. So please start wearing your masks because if you don't, we're never going to get past this and we will come out of here in two years with an economic crisis the likes of which your great grandparents couldn't even fathom. So let's be respectful and be good, diligent members of society, please. That is my, 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 uh, my ask of the day. So. This cup is here this morning, filled with nice, refreshing, cold, filtered water. So if you're not, since we're right back, it seems like where we were in March, I'm going to say to you, again, I have to remind you to take care of yourself. Drink plenty of water. Get out in the sunshine. Get some vitamin D in the rods and cones of your eyes so you don't go crazy, stir crazy. We're going to be here till next year, folks, if people don't start acting reasonably. And, you know, you can't just get tired of a pandemic and give up. That's not the way it works. All right, I'm starting to see some brownness in my pinko. So that is looking really good. I'm very excited about this. <laughs> I'm also a little afraid of... I'm a little afraid of hot oil. But I'm going to see about this. And I'm gonna, oh, look how beautiful that is. Nice. And I'm going to do the same for my twin over here. Oh, they're just beautiful. Okay. I almost wonder if I don't need just a tiny bit more oil to get it all the way up around the edges of the new side. There we go. Just a little higher oil. That will probably make me feel like it's all browned all the way around. I'm hopeful. So this seems to be coming along pretty well. I hope everybody out there is well. Um, I saw that my nemesis, Phyllis Schlafly's hometown, has brought us the latest um, variety of person acting like a jack wagon out there. And as I pointed out, those people who were putting holding guns as mo pro peaceful protesters walked in front of their St. Louis mansion, I would just say that if you don't have enough money left over after your mansion to dress well and take care of your skin and your hair, you are house poor is what you are. They both look like H-E-double-L and living in a marble mansion and then pulling guns like, I'm not going to pass dispersions, but it was the most ridiculous, disgusting thing I've seen in a while. And we are rife with disgusting things. So I also have here has been my favorite thing to do this weekend. I got one of these little tiny ready-to-drink cocktails in this little tiny bottle, and I thought, look, it's exactly the right size to make individual servings of salad dressing. So I put a little uh, mustard, cider vinegar, honey, and olive oil in here, and now we can make a little quickie salad to go with this. This is looking good, but I think it's going to need quite a few more minutes. I'm not starting to see the browning around the edges yet. So, and I think that the bottom side took us, I don't know, I should see if this is why I should have this, is to make sure I know how long things are. So let's see, what does a minute look like here? I'm very excited. I didn't really eat much dinner last night. Did I eat dinner last night? What did we make? Oh, I wasn't on yesterday. So yeah, I probably phoned in eating yesterday. So I'm very excited to have a big, beautiful, delicious sandwich today. Um, I'd love to know what you guys are cooking today. 
And I also would like to thank all of you who have come here to cooking and drinking after quarantine, which may have been a little premature in the naming, um, and liking and following. And I'm going to ask you all to share far and wide with your friends, anybody out there that you can send it to, whether they know me or not. You know, I'm a pretty nice lady, and I will not embarrass you in front of your friends and family unless you are wrong-headed in your thinking, and then I might embarrass you in front of your friends and family. For that, I do not apologize. So here we go, and this is starting to show a little bit of browning coming around the edges, too. And that was a minute, so let me stop that. And I wonder if I shouldn't, I think I should kind of give them a little turn because I do want them to be ground all the way around, for sure. I don't want any piece of it to not be ground. I wonder if I should get another. There, I like it when they stand up for me. Perfect. So there we go. Now they're propping each other up. Ooh, let's get away from the popping, because I don't want to die. Hello, Susan. How are you? Oh. So nice. Now I probably should get out my thermometer and make sure I'm not going to kill anybody with these before I pull them off. And my air conditioner is kicked in, so now I'm sure that it's too loud for anybody to hear anything. But here we go. And I'm going to give this another turn so that the other side can get fully brown before I give them a quick temp check because I still am going to want it to be completely browned all the way around. But they're looking so pretty, you guys. And I could probably go ahead and get a pretty plate here ready to pull them out on when they're ready to go. And there's another minute. I'm coming, I'm coming. Perfect. Let me get... So anybody out there who's looking for something to watch, I cannot recommend highly enough the television, the, the Netflix show, Ryan Murphy called The Politician. It is fantastic. I've been two seasons, and one it's maybe just a little bit too much on that side because it's a little browner than I really would want it to be. So here we go. Now, that's about there. It's hilarious. It's Ben Platt, Bette Midler, Judith White, um, uh, Gwyneth Paltrow, all kinds of amazing people. Kids from Glee, I think, if I remember, if I identified them properly. And I absolutely loved it. I don't think I'm going to give anything away when I tell you that one of the characters says, I want to have a family with you, but I'd rather it be more George and Amal and less George and Martha. And I thought, okay, that's one of the best lines I've ever heard. Um, and we're right at about 145. We're creeping up on 150. Creeping up. Okay, so I think we're probably pretty good for temperature. And because we're creeping up closer to 150. This one is a little bigger, I think. You know, like all girls, one of us has one side that's bigger than the other. So this little ga gal needs maybe a minute or two more. Right side, there we go. And correct side. And I'm going to put a paper towel down so we can get the excess blot here. And... I'm going to step back a little bit so that my little bare legs don't get whacked with this. And I'm going to just make sure that this one is also properly done. I don't want to, I'd rather burn it a little bit, burn the crust a little bit than kill my, kill my neighbors. I, that's one thing I, I don't believe that I have the insurance for that. And this one is coming up a lot more slowly, so I think that it does. That extra quarter inch can go a long way to requiring extra cooking. I realize I don't have a mallet, so if I'd had a mallet here, I would have this morning, I would have um, pounded these a little thinner, but you live and you learn, right? So that's my story, guys, and I'm going to have 
a nice potato bone out here and get that ready to go since my first breast is ready to roll. And you could put these on whole. You could slice them if you want, your breast if you wanted, but I think that putting it on just like this, and actually my breast is a little bigger than my bun. Ain't that always the way in my house. So anyway, I will take a little of my pretty plate, a little of my pretty fresh lettuce. Perfect. And let's see, I need a little spreader to put a little delicious mayo. And I'm gonna turn this way down because I can smell my panko getting a little too warm. And I'm gonna give us a smear here and a smear here. And I'm going to determine that this has got to come out pretty soon. Let's see where we are. Come on, baby. Give me what I need. Give me what I need. Show me some numbers. Show me some love. We're moving much faster than before. We are coming on up, coming on up, coming on up. Oh, 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 oh. Coming on up. All right. I think we're going to be close enough. And this has got to come out because that's going to overcook if we don't. Perfect. My oil is now off. And I'm going to come over here and slice a little piece of my big old chicken breast off so that it fits beautifully onto my bun. Just that little end bit. Perfect. Beautiful. Oh, that's so pretty and crunchy. And because I've done this, now I can take a little bite here. Let's see. Get a little bit of chicken. Yum. It seems so juicy. A little bit of crunchy. Don't you like the way I'm eating with my tongs? Let's get a little dip of that in the spicy. Mmm, 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 mmm. Have a little bite of this. Oh, this is going to be great. Guys, amazing. So, a little bit of lettuce for crunch, right? Maybe just a little bit more of the mayo on top of your chicken so that your lettuce sticks to your chicken. I like to use it like a glue. And bada bing, bada bang. It is spicy. The spice comes way back and burns way back in your throat, which is the way I like it. I don't like spicy that burns the mucous membranes of your mouth where you're... <laughs> That is not my kind of spicy. I like spicy in the back. I like spicy that makes me sweat. So I think that we are in like Flynn for today, guys. So that's cooking in quarantine today. The world has gone completely topsy-turvy. And I'm going to say it's more important than ever to control your in internal self-talk, to be positive, to be positive to yourself, to be positive about the world, to send out good vibes instead of negative vibes. So guys... Do what you can. Take care of yourselves. Be good. Be good. Love your neighbor. Loving your neighbor means wearing a mask. That's just all there is to it. You can, If you have a problem with my theology, feel free to call me up and call me out right here. Love you all. Thank you and have a great day. Ciao, ciao.